Uh, so we've got variables and control window, just as we did again. And the program we want to write this time around is we're going to ask the user to input a value, so an integer again, a whole number, uh, of this very simple maths question. So in this instance, we're going to use what is 2 plus 2. And we're going to use a loop until that uh, user inputs the right number, which in our example is 4. So we're going to need a couple of items uh, to declare initially. Uh, we're going to need a guess, because we're going to ask the user to guess something. And it's going to be an integer data type. We are going to need an output, because we need to tell them what they need to guess. We're going to need an input to actually get that guess. And it needs to go back to the variable that we set up here, called guess. And then we come to the slightly more tricky part. With all of these, we have some options. We've demonstrated inputs, inputs and outputs. We've looked at declaring variables and assigning variables. And now we have some looping. Okay, So we're going to start with a while loop. It will do something until that condition is false. It will keep doing it whilst it's true, which is something we need to be a little bit careful of um, because we might get that confused in our head. And I have done that before. So, while our guess is not equal to 4, we need to keep going around this true. So we're going to use the variable guess, and we're going to use a operator of not, uh, which in this case is the two crocodile brackets together, and we're going to use the value of 4. So whilst that's not 4, do this loop. If that is 4, and this is false, it ends the program. So if, it, if we get a 4 immediately, we're going to want it to have an output of congratulations. Nice and simple. So we can now move on to the more complex link. What we need to do is tell the user that they might have made a mistake, that they have got it wrong. So we're going to write that in as the guess isn't right. And encourage them try again gonna let them input again to the same item and let's try that so we have guess which is initialized we have the question that comes down here let's try uh, our first test we'll put in a seven the guess isn't right, try again. Uh, what about 8? That might be right. Guess it isn't right, try again. Uh, 16? Nope, that's not right either. So if we put the correct answer in now, we get a positive message. And that's a very simple program initially, which then gets a little bit more complicated once we introduce the idea of a loop to keep going around until a condition is met.